What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, um, uh, I guess this is an individual, maybe? I think it's just a person. Um, making his debut on the channel tonight. Tonight. Hope I'm right about that. Uh, we have Richard E.B. Yes, indeed. How about that? Richard E.B. making his debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, still feel like doing all those clicks and likes then by all means feel free to click away this comes as a request from deck lane and this is actually deck lane's prioritized request for the month of september for being a silver tier member on the patreon page so here you go deck lane hope you enjoy the show man deck lane wanted to see me react to this it is richard eb with a cover of a song from final fantasy 7 called one winged angel now have I heard the song before? Believe it or not, no, I have not. I've never played Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I haven't, the only Final Fantasy game I have played is Final Fantasy XIV, and that's a online MMORPG, and I, I, I don't know how conducive that's, that, that game is to the overall storylines of Final Fantasy games. I keep being told that I need to get into this series because I'm probably gonna love it. And the thing is, everybody says the exact same thing. I should start my Final Fantasy journey at Final Fantasy VII. So, one of these days, <laughs> one of these days, uh, I, I'm going to have to come around to this game. I'm, I'm, I keep being told this is where I should start, and this you're going to love it. So, one of these days, I'm going to start the journey, I suppose. But as far as this song goes, I've never heard it before as far as i know now look there's always the possibility that i may have heard the song in passing and i just don't realize it so as always if i start listening to the song and i go oh my goodness are you kidding me i've heard this song before <laughs> i'll let you know that's the truth you know me i'm gonna be honest with you guys this was posted by richard eb okay and the video has 1.2 million views it'll get you there other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. A link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. One Winged Angel, Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children. Okay. Metal Cover, Richard E.B. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Funny. 
I was just making the comment that it, it sounds very Dream Theater-ish. And I'm not talking about from a songwriting standpoint. I'm talking about from a presentation standpoint. I, I know this is a metal cover. And I was like, this, this, sounds like, this sounds like Dream Theater playing the song. And I, I couldn't help but notice the majesty symbol right up here on the first fret. Very cool. <laughs> um, this sounds like a boss battle song. This sounds like a, a something you would play in a boss arena. Uh, I've never played the game before, so I don't know. But this has boss battle written all over it, especially that intro with jut 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 dissonance. I'm like. This screams boss battle. I'll, I wonder if it might be the final boss. It could be with all that dissonance, but I don't know. I, I, I think I think final boss might be a little more grandiose. So this is probably a tough boss though, if it is a boss battle. I don't see this being stage music. I don't see it, but uh, it sounds good so far. I like I like the guitar tone. I like what's happening within the guitar work. Uh, I I do have a gripe. Um, I wish the lead guitar line, the lead melodic line were up a little bit louder in the mix or bring everything else down just a tad. Uh, it's it's very even keel. The, the main melodic line is very even keel with the rhythmic playing. And I just, I kind of wish it was just a little bit above. So, but it's all right. I mean, it still sounds good across the board. So it's fine. I just, I really wish the blend were a little more aimed at the lead melodic line, but that's okay. Let's keep going here. I don't know how accurate this is to the original. I know this is a cover. I, I don't know how accurate this is to the original. I, I, I get the feeling it's very accurate. I get the feeling this is, I, I mean, it's hard to say a carbon, cop carbon copy cover when you specifically say metal cover. I mean, you can still pay homage to the original, obviously, but it's not going to sound exactly like the original. There's going to be instrumentation voicings, obviously, that are quite different. But notationally, I don't know how accurate this is. 
It sounds concise. It sounds precise with the playing. Um, very clean, very clean uh, fingering technique, very clean uh, notational selection. It does, I, I don't, I'm not hearing anything dirty. I'm not hearing anything that sounds smudged. I don't hear anything that sticks out like a sore thumb. Like, there's been one time where I've gone, oh, why, 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 why did you do that? Uh, even when they changed up the feel uh, and the approach with the, with the song, it it uh, it still sounded nice. It, it still sounded like it belonged. So my guess, if I, I'm, I'm going on a limb here. I mean, I, I could be completely wrong. My guess is he's playing... I mean, it's a metal cover, obviously, but notationally, it sounds to me like it's very well thought out, very well organized. It sounds like he's playing it note for note like the original. I, I could be wrong about that, but I and there's a very good chance I am, but it sounds to me like it's like it's precise. So uh, you guys have to let me know in the comments if I'm right in my assumption there. I, I don't know. Um I like what I'm hearing. I like the vocalizations. I like the usage of the vocals. Um, again, that might be part of the original song. I don't know. But it sounds good. It really sounds good. It definitely adds another layer to the song. Um, let's keep going. Let's see where this goes. strong ending very nice strong ending um you could feel it wrapping up i just wasn't sure how they were going to end I, I i felt it wrapping up and up and up and then bomb 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 instead of you know hit the last chord and let it sustain and let it decay and bomb and then you know linear fade either either with a linear fade or with you know just natural decay i'm glad they didn't do that i'm glad they ended bomb 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 that was it. A very impactful ending. Um, not a lot to talk about. This is this is going to be pretty cut and dry. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Oh. 
Well, there you go, folks. That was Richard E. B. Hope it's Richard E. Or is it Rashad? No, it's C. H. So it should be Richard. So yeah, Richard E. B. With a cover of the Final Fantasy VII song "One Winged Angel." This was a request from Deck Lane, and this was actually Deck Lane's prioritized request for the month of September for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Deck Lane. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. This is probably going to be a pretty short review. There's really not a lot to talk about, believe it or not. Uh, I, I've compressed quite a bit. <laughs> Did a lot of uh, compressing of numerous things into just one statement. So we should be in and out of here pretty quick. But uh, then again, you know me and sometimes I go off on tangents. So we'll see what happens here. But let's start off with the score and we'll go from there. On a scale of 1 to 10... I'm going to give that an 8.4. Yep, 8.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, an 8.4. What does that mean? Well, an 8.4 it would translate to a great scale rating, so I think this was a great job overall. It would get 4 to 5 stars and an A- minus letter grade. So there you go, an 8.4. Great skill rating, four to five stars, and an A minus letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> so glad you asked. Okay, um, it's hard. It, it's very hard to base a score on, on a cover when you haven't heard the original. Now, to the best of my knowledge, I didn't recognize the song. And I, I've never played Final Fantasy VII. I need to. I know I need to. I, I see it in the comments all the time. Start your Final Fantasy journey. And when you do, start with seven. It'll make a lot more sense later on if you start with seven. I get it. I, I, I Trust me, folks. I will. I promise you. Number one, I need time. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of free time. I've spent a lot of my life in front of this computer filming, editing, uploading, uh, managing, you, you name it, taking care of YouTube problems, uh, taking care of issues. I mean, I, I, I seriously spend anywhere from six to eight hours a day in front of my computer doing this stuff. So I don't have a whole lot of free time, believe it or not. Plus, I have a life. <laughs> I have a, I have a wife and a family and a home and a, the kitties. I, I don't have a whole lot of free time, guys. I really don't. So if that ever changes and i have free time i promise you i will i will play this game i promise you and i i if 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 and when i do start my final fantasy journey i promise you i will start on seven i promise uh but i've never played the song so it's very hard for me to gauge how accurate this song was to the original i don't know if this was like a note for note carbon copy cover or if he took his own i i, I know he took a metal approach obviously it's a metal cover but I, did he take it, like, they speed the tempo up, they slow the tempo down, they change the feel of the song. Is he playing in a completely different key? I don't know. I've never heard the original. So I kind of have to gauge this as an original song. And, and as I got to say, as an original song, gauging this as an original song, uh, it, it, it sounds great. It really does. Um, let's just knock this out of the park, okay? Technicality, okay? His, his guitar playing, it's outstanding. It is, it's absolutely outstanding. He, he's hes clearly a great guitar player. Uh, he knows his stuff, he's got great technique, very clean playing. Um, not, and not I'm not just talking about his left hand, I'm talking about his right hand too. His picking is really controlled, very accurate, very clean, at least it looked like that in the video. Sounds clean, it absolutely sounds clean. Music videos are, they're, they're, they're music videos, guys. Look, if this was a live performance, that'd be one thing, you know? But clearly this was not a live performance. It's a music video, you know? He's playing along to the track. To what I'm, I'm sure what we, what we heard, he did play, yes. And then he recorded himself playing and then he played it back to film the video. It, it's an old trick, guys, it, it is. And I'm not discrediting the video, I'm not discrediting the song. He still had to play it to record it, so clearly the guy can play. Um, and it was very nice, it, nicely arranged, very nicely done. It sounded good. It sounds like boss battle music. I don't know if that, I don't know if One Winged Angel is a boss battle song. I, I don't know if it is. It sounds like it. Uh, it sounds like this is 
this sounds like the kind of song that would be for a very difficult boss to fight so it's it, it's definitely got those qualities um the arrangement of the song sounded really nice i love the addition of the vocals uh i don't know if there's vocals in the original probably are um but the vocal usage in this was really well done not overly utilized uh and i like how they would spread it out as far as not just usage but uh delegation so like there was that one section where you had the male vocals going and then the female lead vocal came over the top that was nice they weren't all coming in together at the exact same time um my only gripe and i'm not i'm not saying this to be mean i'm not saying this to be rude but th it did feel long i i i caught myself and it's not because it, it's believe it or not guys i'm not tired i'm not tired i'm actually pretty wired right now i got a good night's sleep last night but amazingly enough i got a full six hours and for me that's unusual i usually get somewhere between three to four so i'm not tired at all but i did feel myself kind of nodding off because not because necessarily i was bored but because i just it it some of the guitar solos got long now i don't know if that's i don't know if that's not that's the original arrangement goes i don't know if i don't know if those instrumentals within the original arrangement go on for that long it for that length of time for that one section i don't know i don't know if it does or not it, it did start to feel a little long at points now there were other points where it didn't feel long at all and it felt very precise very interesting very engaging but when the guitar solos got lengthened i'm sitting here going okay okay <laughs> all right you've been soloing for about two minutes now let's let's move on you know uh, <laughs> so you know it, it just it felt long at times and is that is there anything wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that it just comes down to personal taste um but it overall i mean it overall this was a great job it really was a great job and that's why i'm giving it the great score of 8.4 i feel good about that score and that's where we're gonna stay so let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow shall we we got an 8.4 which is a great scale rating four to five stars and an a minus letter grade take your pick i don't care whichever one of those floats your boat final word final score i have spoken well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job. And I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me. But if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.